Hi! Well, welcome back. I lied. I'm gonna make a couple more tutorials uh, because I feel like the game is still missing a little bit. Uh, what's, a, what's a platformer without shooting, right? So let's give our fork a little gun or whatever so you can shoot a bullet. Um, okay, so first we're going to make a bullet. So insert new object and then we're going to insert a new sprite. So just click somewhere uh, and then we're going to draw a bullet. So click on this little circle thing. Um, so we're gonna click here, All right? Click here, and then we're gonna select the color as like orange right here, and then you can click on this box and select black, and then click back this. So this is the main character, uh, main color. So this is the inside of the circle, and this is the border, the outside of the circle. So let's make the border a little bit thicker, something like that. Um, like that. All right. So that's our bullet, and uh, let's shade it a little bit darker um, we can increase the size a little bit just so that it look a little bit more 3d-ish um, maybe I'll have Taylor do a uh, art tutorial she's better at that than I am later on but anyway okay so this is our bullet uh, and let's scale this we'll let's make this like 30 by 30 okay and then we can crop it uh, check our collision box. Okay, that looked good. Um, okay, so we have our bullet. Let's name this bullet. Let's see how this looks. Okay, it's a little bit big, but it will work, right? Yeah, all right, it'll work. Let's keep this. Um, so let's see, we need to give it a movement, right? So behavior. We are going to add a new behavior. Uh, we're going to give it the bullet behavior. Okay. All right. Um, so now we have the bullet object in here. We can delete this. And go to event sheet. Um, okay. So let's add a new event. If the keyboard, if we press space, let's make space to shoot the bullet button. Okay. So if on key press, if we click the space bar um then we want the well we, if okay so uh yeah if we hit the sp uh, space bar we want the player to spawn a bullet so it will go the player will spawn another object player will spawn a bullet um and then remember our layers right the ui layer uh, it moves with the character, so we don't want it to spawn there. We will spawn on the layer zero, which is our default layer. So zero, we're good. Um, and then we want to change the bullet speed. Uh, so the bullet, we will go to the bullet behavior. Uh, we're gonna set the speed to five hundred pixels per second, and then we also want to set the angle, the direction of the bullet. So initially, why don't we have the bullet shoot to the right? Uh, so we go down to bullet, set the angle motion. Remember, zero degree is right, 90 is up, left is 180, and down is 270. It's a um, unit circle. Uh, zero is the same as 360, 360 degree. Okay, anyway, um, so zero is right. Um, all right, let's give that a try. Okay, well, we got our uh, bullet. That's good. Um, but right now, it seems like it's coming in from the f from its face. We want to spawn a bullet like um, somewhere around here, right? Um, so how do we do that? Well, we need to go back to our character and um, add something called image point. So go to animation. Okay. Um, so this is how you edit the image point. Uh, so origin, this is the origin of the character. We want to add a new image point. Uh, why don't we call this the right spawning point, right spawn. And we'll set it to like right here. We can add one to the left side too. So left spawn. And then we can put that here. Okay, so we have the right spawn right here and the left spawn here to spawn a bullet. Um, but 
if we go to the other animation, it seems like the spawn point disappeared. So what we really need to do is to um, apply to all animation. So that way, all the animation have this. Because we don't... Sometimes sometimes we shoot when we're standing still. Sometimes we shoot when we're walking. We definitely don't... <laughs> we don't need it for dying because we're not shooting when we're dying. Um, okay. Um, Alright, we're good here. So then, we go back to our programming. Um, the spawning. So image point. They asked what, us what's the name of the image point. So since we're shooting to the right side, let's call this... Um, so open quote, write, spawn, and close the quotes. Um, so whenever you type a name, a string, you need to put in quotes in programming. Uh, okay, let's click play and see what happened. Hello. All right. To well, World. shooting from the right spawn. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, so now we need to make sure that when we're walking to the right side, we shoot from the right side, making walking to the left, we're shooting on the left side. So how do we do that? And also, don't you think that it's kind of annoying that um, you know we could be walking to the left and then when we idle, it look to the right? So I think we need a new variable that tell whether it's looking left or right. Uh, okay, so why don't we add a new global variable and then we'll, this is boolean, boolean, uh, right. So right means that it's looking at the right side and we would say initially it's uh, we we'll check this. Yes. It, why? <laughs> okay. Maybe don't like that name. Can I do this? Okay. Uh, right direction maybe. Okay. All right. Okay. So initially we're facing the right direction. Right direction is true. We're facing right. Okay. Um, so I guess whenever we uh, click left, when left is down, we're not facing right anymore. So, um, oh, and I, yeah, okay. So we're facing the right side, left side. Okay. So glow, so we set the variable, um, set Boolean, right direction. When we click left, uh, right direction is false because we're not facing right. And then when we are, when we click the right button, right direction should be true because we're facing right. Uh, so we go to system, we go to set boolean, right direction is true. Okay. So we are facing, if we click left, right direction is false because we're facing left. If we click right, then right direction is true because we're facing right. Okay. Mm. All right, so now why don't we fix, well, okay, well, let's do this part first because it's easier. Okay, so let's add a um, sub event. Let's say if the, if right direction is true, okay, then we can do this because this is just the same as before. We spawning it to right spawn. Uh, zero degree which is right direction and the speed of 500 but okay let's add another sub event but we want to add it to this layer we don't want it to be a sub event of this one we want a sub event of if, if the space bar is plus and right direction is not true so add sub event and then we'll say it's boolean set right direction is and it's not true so when you invert this x mean it's not true um i'm just going to copy this for now um and yeah remember if i if you want to paste something it's a little bit annoying you need to um make something first and then right click paste and then you can delete this one okay so so okay if if right direction is false, then we're facing left. We want to spawn at left spawn. Uh, and then we want it to have the angle that way, which is so 0, 90, 180, 180. Okay. 180 degrees left. Let's try this. Hopefully this work. Hello. Welcome to Platform World. All right. So shooting right, right. And then we're shooting left, except I, 
I don't want. <laughs> okay, yeah, except our I, idle image is um, always facing to the right side, so let's fix that. Um, <laughs> okay, so how do we do that? You probably guess it. We probably need to make a new animation, right? Um, go back to the level. Uh, I'm going to save this first. Okay, so go back to the animation of the player. Um, so I will clone this, duplicate it, and I'll call this idle left because it's facing the left side and it's going to be a flip. Oh, well, we want to, whoops, we want to flip the entire animation to the left. So this is idle left, idle right. Okay. Uh, and then we'll make sure we have the image point. We do. Okay, very good. So now we just go back to our event sheet. So let's see. So when the speed is zero and it's not dead, we will set the um, we will set the animation to idle, right? So that's idle to the right side. So we need to add a sub event here. Okay, so right click, add sub event, and then we'll check if it is facing left or right. So let's check if it's facing right first. So if it is, if right direction is true, it's facing right, then we're going to set to idle. So idle right, uh, and then we'll add another event. Remember, add the layer here where it's not dead. If the um, right direction is not true, so that means it's facing left, then we are going to set the player animation to idle left. Okay. Yeah, so once again, um, just to make this clear, this is a if statement, right? So if player is, if player's platform speed is zero, so that's the first if that is true, then here's a the second if statement. If the player is not dead, uh, and then here's the third if statement. If it is facing right, so if all these three statements is true, then we do this. We we send the animation to idle, right? If this one, this one, and this one is true, then we are sending the animation to idle left. Remember, all three of these statements have to be true. The player have to be not moving. Player have to be not dead, and the player have to be facing not right. So it's facing left for this statement to execute. Okay, so let's try this and hopefully it works. Platform All right. World. And then, oh, well, we have a problem. Is uh, what's going on here? Seems like uh, when we're facing the left side, the spawn point is flipped. Okay, so we need to fix that. <laughs> All right, remember how we did the mirror thing? Apparently, that mirrored the image point as well. So let's fix that. Um, either left. Right spawn is not here. Right spawn is here. And left spawn is here. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, welcome to Platform World. Hmm. Something is still wrong here. Let me double check. Let's see what's going on. I just fixed that, didn't I? Left, right spawn, left spawn. Hmm. All right, I'll be right back. Let me double check, see what's going on. All right, I'm back. <laughs> so apparently it's a bug in uh, Construct 3, I think. Um, for some reason it's not updated. So, okay, so here's a quick fix, okay? So you go back to idle. We know idle is working, so right. All right, we're just gonna do this again. Left, right click, apply all to all animation. Left, we're gonna apply that to all animation. So apply this points to all the frame again. Um, and then let's try this again. All right, so that worked. Welcome to Platform World. Okay. Huh, well, it seems that 
when our character is walking and shooting from the foot. <laughs> so we should probably update that. And also it seems like our character is moving at the same speed as the bullet. So we can change that a little bit. Um, so event sheet, we want to make the bullet maybe go even faster, like 1000 pixel per second. That way it's going faster than our um, character when the character is walking. Um, and then we want to, uh, yeah, what do you say? We want to change the animation so it doesn't shoot from the foot when it's walking. So right, so right spawn point should be up here and then left spawn point should be up here. And then left, left spawn point should be up here. And then right, right spawn point should be up here. Okay, let's try this again. Hello, welcome to Platform World. All right, well, it seems like it's a little bit better. Maybe, uh, maybe the, when we're rocking to the right side, it seems like it, it dipped down there. Okay, well, anyway, it's good enough. <laughs> All right, so, so now that we got our bullet system working, um, we'll make enemy next. So I'll see you on the next video.